Dear students, now we are going to discuss distortion less line and its conditions in detail. In general, a line without any distortion is called as distortion less line. In transmission line, there is a possibility of waveform distortion. If a transmission line has neither frequency distortion nor phase distortion, then it is called as distortion less line. There are certain conditions for the distortion less line. The first one is the attenuation constant alpha should be independent of frequency. Alpha is equal to square root of r into g. So it is independent of frequency. There is no frequency distortion. Okay. So the second condition is the phase constant beta should be a function of frequency. Beta is equal to omega into square root of LC for the distortion less line. So here the beta is a function of frequency. The third important condition here it is the velocity of propagation is independent of frequency. As we know that B is equal to omega by beta substitute the value of this beta here. So omega omega divided each other. Then we can get velocity of propagation is equal to 1 by square root of L into C. It is also independent of frequency. Since it is independent of frequency, it is not having phase distortion. Okay. So then last one is the relation between primary constants of the transmission line. For distortion less line, it should satisfy the condition R by L is equal to G by C. Okay. So next we are going to prove each condition with its derivation here. First we are going to derive attenuation constant as independent of frequency. For that we can consider the general equation of attenuation constant of transmission line. We have already derived this attenuation constant expression in the previous lecture video. Here we are going to directly use that expression. Okay. So this is the expression of attenuation constant. Consider this as the first equation. Okay. Here attenuation must be independent of frequency for distortion less line. For that condition the second term of this expression is reduced to Rg plus omega square Lc the whole square. Because what is the first term? Rg minus omega square Lc. We want to make this attenuation constant as a frequency independent. So we want to remove this term, omega term. For that we can consider that inner part of this square value as Rg plus omega square Lc the whole square. Then only we can remove this omega term. Do you all understand now? So in the next step we can write the square root term Rg minus omega square Lc the whole square plus omega square Lg plus Rc the whole square is equal to Rg plus omega square Lc the whole square. Consider that as the second equation. Do you all understand? So next we are going to expand all the square terms here. So first one is A minus B the whole square. We can write R square G square plus omega power 4 L square C square minus 2 omega square R G L C. The next one is omega square is common for this. So expand this as A plus B the whole square. So here it is omega square L square G square plus omega square R square C square plus 2 omega square R C L G. That is equal to the right hand side becomes R square G square plus omega power 4 L square C square plus 2 into omega square R G L C. So in the next step we can simplify the terms further like this. Okay, here we can cancel the similar terms on both the sides. Finally, we can get omega squared L squared G squared plus omega squared R squared C squared minus 2 omega squared R C L G is equal to 0. Then we can take omega squared as a common term out of this expression. Then this term becomes L G minus R C the whole squared. We can move this omega squared to the right hand side, it becomes 0. Then we can get Lg is equal to Rc from that G by C is equal to R by L. So this is the condition for distortion less line. To achieve the above condition, it requires 
a large value of inductance and G value is very small. Okay, so this is the primary constant relation for the distortion less line. Okay, next we are going to substitute second equation in first equation. What is the first equation? General expression of attenuation constant alpha that is equal to square root of Rg minus omega squared Lc plus square root of the second expression is used here that is Rg plus omega squared Lc the whole square divided by 2. So here the square root and this two cancel each other then we can get square root of Rg minus omega squared Lc plus Rg plus omega squared Lc divided by 2. Then we can cancel these two terms finally we can get 2 Rg by 2 that is equal to square root of Rg. So attenuation constant alpha is equal to square root of r into g which is independent of frequency. By this way we can eliminate the frequency distortion. Do you all understand? Then the next one is phase constant beta is a function of frequency. Here alpha is independent of frequency but here the phase constant beta is a function of frequency. So for that we can use the general expression of beta in transmission line. So this is also we have already derived the same as that of alpha. Only one change in this that is the first term becomes omega squared Lc minus Rg. The remaining terms are same. Consider this as the third equation. So for beta as a function of frequency we have to consider the second term as Rg plus omega squared Lc the whole square. That is nothing but the second equation. Okay, this is the second equation. Now we are going to substitute the second equation in this third equation. Okay, it is the third equation. So we can replace this term, this square root term as Rg plus omega squared Lc the whole square. So square and square root to cancel then we can get Beta is equal to square root of omega squared Lc minus Rg plus Rg plus omega squared Lc divided by 2. Then we can cancel these two terms. Finally, we can get 2 omega squared Lc divided by 2. Then the answer is beta is equal to omega squared becomes omega into square root of Lc. Here the beta is a direct function of frequency. Okay. Next we are going to prove that velocity of propagation is independent of frequency for distortion less line. For that we can take the formula velocity of propagation V is equal to omega by beta. Substitute the value of beta here that is omega into square root of Lc. Then we can divide this omega and omega. Finally we can get V is equal to 1 by square root of Lc. It is independent of frequency. Since it is independent of frequency, the velocity of propagation is same or equal for all frequencies in that transmission line. Therefore, there is no delay distortion. The last one is characteristics impedance of distortion less line. So here the formula is Z0 is equal to square root of R plus J omega L divided by G plus J omega C. We can take this L outside from this expression numerator and C from this denominator. Then we can get L into R by L plus J omega divided by C into G by C plus J omega. For distortion less line, we know that the relation between the primary constants that is R by L is equal to G by C. So here R by L is equal to G by C means these two terms cancel each other. Correct? Then we can get that characteristics impedance is that not is equal to square root of L by C. Okay. So it is a real value and independent of frequency. This is the characteristics impedance of distortion less transmission line. Okay.